them that are watching us live, you are welcomed. And uh, I want just to share what the Lord has told me about the year. And uh, any time that God wants you to enter into a new season, He ushers a message because life is a journey. Tiny, but life is a journey. Say it again. Life is a journey. I'm waiting for Luke chapter 9, verses 1. So uh, I want you to understand that we have entered to another year of the Lord. Hallelujah. This year, the Lord will favor Kenya. This year, the Lord will have mercy to the church of Kenya. One of the things that will happen to the church in Kenya, there will be increment, there will be growth, there will be a lot of release of the power of God in the church. Men and women will be filled with the power, will be filled with authority. God has sworn to release his power to his people. That is the first message and the Lord told me about. And uh, I want you to understand, the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 9, uh, now Jesus called together the twelve disciples and gave them uh, power. He gave them power. He gave them power to do what? Uh, right to exercise or the power to exercise. What's wrong with, with this thing? They should be heard earlier before we start preaching. Power and authority over all the demons. Thank you, it is working, Moses. And to heal diseases. Buana Sifiwe. He gave them power. Tell your neighbor this year, we will have power. Power to heal, power to pray. There will be power in the body of Christ. There will be a lot of power. Number two, Pastor Zach, what the Lord told me, God will release a lot of money to the church. Amen. You did not hear that. Amen. God will release a lot of money to the church. Amen. So many of us will be very rich. Amen. I never said so many of you, I say so many of us. Amen. I cannot be excluded on that in Jesus' name. Amen. So this year, prepare to be rich. Your neighbor, you need to open an account. Tell your neighbor, you need to open an account. So the church that will arrive with the will of God, there will be a kind of revival. There is a kind of coming back. There is a generation that God is raising and God has been cooking in the year 2023. That generation will start rising. Young people, young women, young men will start rising. Hallelujah. So uh, the, the kind of people that God want to raise, the kind of uh, uh, people that God want to work with, they, they are not the old prophets. God is now working with young men and women. Hallelujah. So I see great prophets from Kenya rising. I see great teaching ministries. They are ministries that you have never heard of, but you start hearing them this year. They are pastors that you have never heard of. You start hearing them this year. Tell your neighbor one of them is Apostle Morelli. Hallelujah. So tell your neighbor the other version of me is coming out. Is coming out. 
So uh, the church will have a lot of strength, a lot of favor, and there will be a team that is will be a grace to pray. Let me call it grace in quotes. There will be a zeal and urge to pray. So many people will be called to the place of prayer. Hallelujah. There are some God is sending men from West countries. God is sending some few evangelists, even from America, to come here and bring impartation. You will see a bonky kind of men of God coming to Kenya. You will see Kasarani full. You just see a uh, kasarani full of the grace of God, full of a uh, watumishu wa mungu kutoka nchi mingi. Some will go to Nakuru, some will go to Eldoret, some will go to Kisumu. But the, uh, there is a kind of revival that will break out in Kenya this year. Because God loves Kenya. No, your neighbor God loves Kenya. No, your neighbor God loves Kenya. It was the, when the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. It was like a warning. It was a, like a warning to the church, and the Lord was speaking to me and was telling me, the church should not, the church should not mingle with the government. Kanisa isi ingie kwa serikali. Kwa sababu wakiingia kwa serikali yale madhambi yatafanywa na serikali watakuwa part of it for the church to be able to correct the government it must not be in the government it should be like a watchdog hallelujah but i saw the church of kenya conforming to the pattern they conform and when they conform to the pattern then they will be they will not be able to criticize the government they will not be able to correct the government hallelujah richard hawezi kuwa uh mimi ndiye nabii wake uh na amefanya dhambi alafu akuja na 5 million alafu niweze kumwambia dhambi yake Dhabi yake itafichwa na milioni tano. But when you are outside the government, you'll be able to tell them what the Lord says. To avoid familiarity. Hallelujah. So I am seeing a lot of meetings, a lot of gatherings, uh, Godly gatherings. And uh, I know the church will be happy in the year 2023. Doors will be opened and especially the international doors even for the church there will be international doors hallelujah your neighbor prepare to go so there there will be so I, we will go to so many countries i know i know i, I must go to a few countries like 10 but uh, uh, i don't know you but for me i will go at least 10 countries to go and preach this good word I've been refusing to go, but it is time. I have to go and leave Pastor Zakharon with his church and with his members. Hallelujah. Your neighbor, when you, when you miss Apostle Morelli here, you'll be in America. You'll be in Asia. Hallelujah. Preaching the good news. Amen. So God is taking Kenya to a season of harvest and printiness and hence the prices of food may reduce but not as quick as we think there are so many things that will change i saw petrol coming out of from 170 at once and by that i saw some governments making deals with our government Hallelujah. The the food prices are coming down within the next two months. Ile bei mtulikuwa tunanuanga unga hizo nyakati. Nimesema within 
two months itakuwa imerudi Abiani ba shida ya chakula imeisha God has given this country four years of plentiness there will be no drought for the four years akutakuwa na jaa haleluya Kenya as a country will face the right direction there will be a lot of corrections there will be a lot of corrections and uh, i saw president iruto reshuffling the cabinet again niliona cabinet yake iki ikiwa reshuffled there is an enemy that want to disorient his government if he does not open up his, his eyes the enemies will come within from within to destroy his own government there are some efforts that are being put just to disorient his government or to destroy his government so he need to start strong and to start wise on the other hand i saw some opposition leaders coming back to the government the way you are seeing them doing they will come more more of them will come to the government hallelujah uh the shake up that you had in narombi it will continue there will be a shake up in narombi government but god will sustain sakaja for the next five years you'll be there are you getting me god will sustain sakaja for the next five years he'll be there he is a god ordained leader he never went there by the votes he went there by the grace and what god lifted by the grace is only the grace which can hallelujah so uh can you just take one minute and pray for the government of narobi because that is where we are just take one minute and pray for the government of Nairobi pray for Sakaja pray for the MCEs pray for all the government activities just take one minute in the name of Jesus 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 amen 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 I saw the enemy trying to create another disease that looks like COVID-19 and uh, it came like SARS it was ni ugonjwa ilikuwa mbaya sana watu walikuwa wanatokezea pimples nono sana and i saw it breaking out <laughs> and within some few hours more than 100 people are dead it has been orchestrated to continue from where corona reached but i saw an angel of god stopping it I saw the heart of an angel stopping it. These things that I'm telling you, you'll hear them very soon. And I'll be telling you when they come. There is a plan to bring another disease. Watu wanatokezea mapimpo makubwa sana. Gine inatoka kama ni magunyo. That is a kind of a thing that has been orchestrated in the darkness. Hallelujah and uh, we pray that it will not reach to Kenya amen it is just an orchestration of the antichrist those who are in the spirit knows that we are in the last days do you know jesus is coming soon sooner than what you expected hello your neighbor jesus is coming very really soon tell them again will be very soon 
Wambie sooner than you expected. Wambie so repent and be baptized. Watu wache mchezo. Watu wache nini? Watu wache nini? Mchezo. Pray for our kids. Pray for schools. Pray for schools. Especially our universities. There is an orchestration of enemy for universities to riot and bring chaos and anarchy because of very simple things that may happen. But I saw them on the street. I saw them on the streets. So pray for them. I say pray for them. The Lord was showing me a governor. And I saw him very weak and very sick in a way that he could not continue with the government. I know the governor. It's only that I will not say his name today. I saw him being very weak. Was unable to rule again. Nidiana Machiake Kingia Nadani. And I prayed and I tried to pray. But he never made it. He never made it. He's a governor. One of the govern one of the forty seven governors. I saw him. I saw his eyes shrinking. So we pray for the county governments. Amen? Amen. We pray for the county governments. One of the days, Pastor Zach, I don't know, they came to our home as we were talking. I saw a, a flag. I don't know whether it's a German flag or it is from Britain. But I saw a flag halfway. I saw a flag halfway. Nikama imekatwa. Then I had cries. I had a lot of cries. And uh, then I saw some families. I thought it was rapture. But I saw some families missing their members. And it was a plane crash. So many people died. No one survived. No one survived. Before I recovered from it, I saw another plane. It was like coming from France. It was like coming. It was. It had. It had white people. It killed more than 280. It disappeared. It disappeared. They are prints from different companies. Just because they are from different companies and from different countries, sometimes Kenyans are there who are our people. If men of God can stand and pray, they can stop the prince from crashing. It will be horrific. It will be so dangerous. It will be bad. It will be bad. Tell your neighbor, it will be very bad. You see the bad accidents, it will be very bad. It will be very bad. The Antichrist is well prepared. The Antichrist is well prepared. He want to fight against the church. So, so many devil worshippers, so many agents will be sent to the church. So many agents will be sent on our roads so that there may be a lot of accidents, especially uh, the road between, uh, what do we call it, this, this place, Kino, all the way to Panaitwa, free area, all the way to free area. 
there is an orchestration of so many accidents. And they will be happening not at the daytime, at night. The time for the sacrifice. I'm not talking about any other road. I'm talking about Nairobi Nakuru Road. I'm not talking about Mombasa Road. A lot of funny accidents. You hear 10 people dies, 7 people dies, 2 people dies, but it will not be Godre. Hallelujah. So your neighbor, it will not be Godre. It will be demonic. So anything demonic can be stopped by the church. Anything demonic can be stopped by the church. So the church should pray. The church should pray. Your neighbor, the church should pray. I'll be again. Pray and pray for the pastors. I am seeing some of the men of God. I don't know why I'm mixing my messages, but I saw some of the men of God and the women of God leaving the ministry and going to business. I saw them. In a plan to support the church, they went to the business and they were unable to come back. I saw some of them dying. I saw some of them dying. And you pray for men of God for one minute. In Jesus' mighty name. Last year when we started I said I saw a great religion reader dying. I never knew Pope would die yesterday before we jumped a year. But this year I'm seeing an evangelical reader who is a father. An evangelical reader who is a father going back home. He's a father. He's a father. He's a not a national father. He's a not a national father. He is a wild father. His ranking is rank of the senior fathers of this nation. His push home will be good for the church because it is like when Simeon received Christ and then he died. So there will be now an ushering of the worldwide revival. It will come. Hallelujah. He's a senior man. Everybody knows him. Even the kids know him. He's not a religious reader. He's not a religious reader. He is a great man of God. I never said he would die. I said he would be called home. Remember, there is a difference between dying and being called home. Say it again. You know, dying, kukufa ni kuisha. Lakini, kuhitwa nyubani, ni kuda kupumzika. Them that are in Christ do not die. What do they do? They rest. Hallelujah. Okay, let me say it. Raina Odinga will try to put some madamano. He will 
start with a lot of strength but there will be none of them that will succeed hallelujah i know even the government want to push the constitution to be changed but it will not be possible for this year constitution will not be changed there will be no movement but i saw a lot of division in azimio more than what you are seeing if you belong to azimio me naona azimio ikizimia itaisha itaisha kabisa bia niba itaisha kabisa na itaisha mapema kuliko nasa nakumbuka ile nasa hao by the end of this year azimio itakuwa imezimia kabisa kabisa hautaipata mahali utakuwa ukijaribu kusema asi usahau have you got that have you got that but was your life you be breast i say you be breast kia nimba apostle moyo will be very breast pastor regina and mwagino there is a song that i love i am blessed very breast kia nimba i am breast so breast very breast uh when you will not sing me in the church know that i'm as i'm here praying for you i may miss the church for some few weeks if i miss the church for a few weeks know that i'm praying for you i need to go and pray for your neighbor pastor want to go and pray wambie tena wambie tena eh na mwambi pastor is not dying soon mwambi none of you will die soon for the eight years i have been a full time minister in the church i have not buried any any person in our church not because I don't have the ability to bury no one has died in our ministry for 8 years none have died Virginia you not die this year you live long hallelujah okay so so I I want you to understand No one who belongs to the Minion City will die this year. Amen. For your neighbor this day this year. First I don't burying anybody. See you know and goza mazishi. But the hotel will do people will wed. By the way, hii mwaka watu watawana. Hii mwaka kama kuna watu watawana ni wa Dominion. Bwana asifiwe. Wasichana wetu wataolewa na vijana wetu wataoa. Bwana asifiwe. Nabia neighbor this year gideja nawa. Haleluya. Itaenda hivyo usikie usikie mpaka mamtereza Asha pata mtu na ameolewa. Itakuwa hivyo. Itakuwa hivyo. Itakuwa hivyo. Amen. Hii mwaka mtu usi usikubali si nimekubia Yesu anarudi hivi karibuni. Eh usikubali kwenda bila kuolewa. Sawa sawa usikubali kwenda bila kuolewa. Hii mwaka ningetaka watu waombe sana. Watu waombe tujaribu kuomba sana. Tuombe sana. Msikie venye nimemwambia? Tuombe sana kwa sababu zile ule utajiri Mungu anataka kuachilia ni mkubwa sana. Abia neba great wealth is coming on our way. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45 verses 1 to 3.
After that, we go to Isaiah 54. Okay, I will finish with this. I'll finish with this. This is what the Lord says to his anointed, to Cyrus, king of Persia, whose right hand I have held. Why can't you work for these things once and for all? Can somebody read for me from... Uh, Yes. Let me read this. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is what the Lord says. Can we read everybody in Kaba Square? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Verses 2. Uh-huh. I will go before you. Tell your neighbor the Lord is going before you. To level the mountains. I will shatter the doors of bronze. And cut through the bars of iron because we want to give you a break for the next verse. I'll give you pressures of darkness. Zirianza kukuja jana to repair 50 bob. I'll give you treasures of darkness, the hoarded treasures, and the hidden riches of sacred places so that you may know that it is I the Lord God of Israel who called you by your name already are you seeing that hallelujah that is what gonna happen God will release the treasures that are hidden in darkness there is a lot of wealth that will be released Hallelujah. There will be a lot of wealth that Africa is becoming, is rising in a very different way. Isaiah chapter 54 verses 1 and 2. Then I finish with Isaiah chapter 8, the theme of our year. Verse 1. One, one to go. You are reading as if we are in 2022. Can you read in 2023, January 1? Shout for joy. Shout for joy. O barren one. Uh -huh. She who has given birth. Break forth into joy. I am some of the Again. From verse 1 again. Shout for joy, O barren one. She, she who has not given birth, you who have no baby, uh -huh. break forth into joy, to joyful shouting, rejoice. He who have never went into labor ward, they are people who God is giving kids. Hallelujah. Your neighbor, these year people are delivering. Hallelujah. Be a neighbor, Pastor Zach, who get another baby. Hallelujah. Not by power, not by might, but by Pastor Hallelujah. I think we can use, use use that one. For the spiritual sons, 
of the disorate one will be more numerous than the sons of the married woman. Hallelujah. Says Pastor Moridi. Says who? Says who? Next verse, verses 2. I love it so much. Enlarge the, the size of your tent. Tell your neighbor you need to enlarge now. Enlarge the size of your tent to make room for more children. Hallelujah. Stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not space them. Have your neighbor who space? Huh? Oh, spare them. Tell your neighbor, do not spare them. Hallelujah. Lengthen your tent, tent ropes, and make your pegs, stakes firm in the cloud. Hallelujah. When God is increasing spiritual wealth, He increases even children. If you have a ability to have babies, spiritual and the physical, just do it. These year people will give birth Amen. because there will be plenty. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your neighbor, people will give birth. Amen. Hallelujah. We will dedicate so many kids. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Before the end of this year, some of you will be pregnant. Amen. Isaiah 58, verses 8. Isaiah 58, verses 8. Now this one is for, the, for our church. I know these verses will work wherever you go. Can we lead like a mass choir? Then you are like to break forth like dawn, and you are hearing restoration of new life will quickly spring forth. Your righteousness will go before you. Reading you to peace and prosperity. Hallelujah. You'll be a righteous king. You'll be a righteous, prosperous king. Hallelujah. Your neighbor, I don't know you don't you know whether you know who you are sitting next to. Hallelujah. Your neighbor, you are sitting next to a king. Reading to peace and prosperity. The glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. What will be behind you? Who, what will be in the rear guard? The glory of God. People, will, when you pass, they will see glory. Hallelujah. If you are ready, I tell your neighbor, look at this here. Look at this here. Mwambie ile dogo sana nitafaa ni human ya 20000 Only this can understand what I'm talking about Hallelujah God you will beautify you especially the ladies of Dominion City You don't need foundation because the Lord will be your foundation Hallelujah Hallelujah Tell your neighbor not more delays in the mirrors. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hello. No more putting foundations. Christ will be your foundation. Hallelujah. Uh, and then you are right. Uh, verses next to us. Verse 9. Want to go to the square? Then you will call. Then you will call. Then you will call. You will cry. Uh -huh. 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 
when you stay in righteousness you will call and the lord will tell your neighbor this time you don't need to shout he will answer before you call i say he will answer before you call before you cry the lord will respond before you cry the lord will respond this year the lord will answer the wrong awaited prayers this year the lord will answer the wrong awaited miracle this year the lord will answer your family this year the lord is bringing you out of the shame of your family this year the lord is removing every calamity in the name of jesus cancer will not kill you hiv will not kill you hiv will not kill you diabetes is not your portion high blood pressure is not your portion accident is not your portion i declare to you will not die by faith you will not die by accident but your neighbor you not surprise us through your death hallelujah next verse i'm going to verse 12. verse 10 la mashere katamaza if you extend your soul to the hungry do your neighbor feed the hungry this year and satisfy the afflicted souls then you are right then what you are right you never you have a right shall dawn in the darkness and your darkness shall be as the known at your darkness will be like Yaani hili lako tukieta vio kwa hana dhalita si mmoja. Yaani wakati kumekuwa na giza kabisa mnasema ni kutuku ni kutuku ni kutuku ni saa sita mchana it is like sai at sai yote umeona giza. There will be no darkness in your life. I said there will be no darkness in your life. There will be no morning season in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that cry and jewels in the uh, uh, at night but in the morning there is joy. I declare it is your morning. I declare 2023 is your morning in the name of jesus there will be no more tears in your family you not bury your mother you not bury your father you not bury your siblings none of your children will die prematurely i declare this year long life is your portion divine health is your portion you remain healthy in the name of jesus none of you will be admitted in the hospital none of you will be admitted because of any kind of disease none of your family members will be admitted in the name of Jesus. There will be no WhatsApp group to raise funds for your disease. I declare no one will go to India because of sickness. The Lord will preserve your families in the name of Jesus Christ. If you extend our next verse, I think the last one now. The Lord will guide Pastor Moradi continually and satisfy his soul in drought you're never even in the time of drought pastor Murray will be increasing and strengthen your bones you're never your bones will not be weak this year you shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose water do not fail in in short biblia ri gatirire ugakorwo ururite haleluya yani watu walikuwa watakuwa kiona uko na kausa soft uko na kamwili soft uko yani kila kitu ni soft mtu ahutia makaji akaigwa tama gesonoka usaiye na kamtu kama kwa soft mtu anaona nini wacha ni mwambie i know them i know both sides bwana asifiwe kuna wakati nilikuwa nimekaa hivi watu wakiniangalia hivi wanasema huyu jamaa huyu hata nikiwaambia niko 24 wanasema hii ni uongo kwa sababu bones are protruding haleluya in fact nilikuwa na kichwa imechomoka siko najua mtu akikoda kichwa inachomokanga inakaa inakaa kama ngombe ya, ya maziwa hivi v shaped bwana sifiwe but when god comes on your life he must make your head loud he must beautify your cheeks hallelujah and even this year you must look beautiful 
because the glory of God will be at you earlier. Hallelujah. As you cut walk, people will be seeing glory. I say, as you cut walk, people will be seeing glory. I see you lifted. I see you increasing. Let me tell you this. None of you who are here, by the next one month, none of you be jobless. I say none of you be jobless. The Lord will provide for you. There will be abundance of grace. There will be abundance of finances. There will be abundance of favor. I declare that is your portion. I say that is your portion. In the name of Jesus, rise up with your feet, lift up your hands, tell the Lord this year, visit me this year, whatever has been prophesied, it is my portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Just tell the Lord, it is my portion, it is my portion, it is my portion, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, lift up your hands and close your eyes. Prosperate, Almighty Father, send help from heaven to your children in 2023 in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, give your children victory in 2023 in Jesus' name. Almighty Father, open doors for your children in 2023 in Jesus' name. Father, make a way in 2023 for your children where, where there has been no way before. In the mattress in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, help your children. Protect them 2023 and fight their battles for them in the, in the name of Jesus. Father, in 2023, wherever your children will go, they will find favor with you and favor with the men in Jesus' name. Father, in the year 2023, we will be open up to your children in Jesus' name. Make them prosper in the name of Jesus. Make them prosper in the name of Jesus. Father, open the doors of your children. Everywhere they know the doors will be open in the name of Jesus. I see the doors will be open in the name of Jesus. Right now, I cross every evil door in the name of Jesus. The door of that matatu that will bring accident, I cross it for you in Jesus' name. The door that will bring that house down, I cross that house for you in Jesus' name. I cross the hospital doors for you in Jesus' name. I cross the mortuary doors for you in Jesus' name. None of you will step in those doors in Jesus' name. Now I open the gates of American Embassy for you. I open the gates to go to Dubai. I open the gates to go to Middle East in Jesus' name. I open the gates of Embassy of UK in the name of Jesus. I open the gates to go to Australia in the name of Jesus Christ. I open the gates and the doors to go to America, Seattle, uh, Washington, uh, New York, and wherever you desire to go. Let those doors remain open in the name of Jesus. I open the gates to go to preach in Nigeria. I open the doors to go to preach to South Africa. I open doors for Mombasa. I open doors for you to Nakuru. I open doors of South Africa. I open Uganda for you. I open Zambia for you. I open Ghana for you. I open Cameroon for you. I open the gates for you in the name of Jesus. I open the gates to the county government for you. I open every office. I make it easy. I give you access to enter in each and every office that you desire in this year in the name of Jesus. I open the gates to go to your destiny. I open the gate to go to your destiny.
every gate that has been closed right now it is open in the name of jesus the gates of increment they are open the doors of increment they are open the doors of a better school are open the doors of university for you are open the doors of university for your children are open i declare your visas are lady your visas are lady your visas are lady you will not miss your miracle in the year 2023 you will not miss your blessing in the name of jesus nobody will carry pregnancy and miscarriage in this church nobody will be operated in the name of jesus the lord will protect you the lord will protect your family there will be no bad news in this year there will be no bad news in the name of jesus there will be no nightmare in the name of Jesus. I said there will be no nightmare in the name of Jesus. God will dress you with his glory. God will dress you with his glory. Men and women who are supposed to help you are coming on your way in the name of Jesus. I say men and women who are to help you are coming on your way in the name of Jesus. I open your phone towards your destiny connector. May they trace you in the name of Jesus. I say may they connect with you in the name of Jesus. May you meet that man that you have been waiting for. May you meet that woman you have been waiting for. May you meet that miracle that you have been waiting for. May you meet the grace that you have been praying for. Let the grace of prayer as a precaution, understanding the word of God, even the grace to pray and fast, let it fall upon you in the name of Jesus. I say the grace of prayer is upon you right now. I say the grace of prayer is upon you right now. You will not be able to resist in the name of Jesus. Let the grace and atmosphere of miracles be upon your life in the name of Jesus. I create a new environment in your life. No more struggles in the name of Jesus. You will not go and borrow. I say you not go and borrow. I say you not go and borrow. Any debt in your form, any debt in your back, it is cancelled this month. Nobody will be a bad thing. Nobody will have bad things. Nobody will be will have debts in the name of Jesus. As the Bible, as the scripture says, we will not be borrowers, but we will be a givers. We will be a sisi toko tuna kopesham. Nimetangaza wale di utakopesha wa kwanza Wale di utakopesha wa kwanza Hautakuwa na madeni tena I close the door Yenye inafanyanga watoto wafukuzwe shule And I open the door of finances Watoto wako hawata fukuzwe shule Kwa sababu ya school fees Now na ukiwabadisa shule Unawapeleka shule more expensive Because the Lord will have blessed you Because the Lord will have lifted you The Lord will bless the work of your heart Hands. Anything that you touch, it will prosper. Anything that you touch, it will, be, it will prosper. I declare, wherever you go, the Lord will guard your feet. The Lord will guard your feet. Iyo migu yako haita kupereka kwa hatari. Iyo migu yako haita kupereka jera. Nimetangaza hakuna moja wenu. Hakuna moja ya wetu watarara jera hakuna moja wenu atashikwa na polisi hakuna moja wenu atapigwa na wezi hakuna moja wenu atanyanganywa vitu na wezi katika jina la Yesu Kristo i declare glory i declare a blessing in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name receive the khaki that you have been waiting for Receive the car key that you have been waiting for. Receive the title D that you have been waiting for. Receive the title D that you have been waiting for. Receive the house key that you have been waiting for. Receive the wedding ring that you have been waiting for. Receive the marriage that you have been waiting for. Receive the baby boy that you have been waiting for. Receive the baby girl that you have been waiting for. May the atmosphere favor you. May the atmosphere favor you. God of dominion city will cover you wherever you go. God of Dominion City will cover you in the name of Jesus. No accident on your way. No danger on your way. The Lord will protect your family. The Lord will protect your children. The Lord will protect your destiny. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you this year to grow in health, to grow in wisdom, to grow in favor. 
in Jesus mighty name put your hands together for Jesus put your hands together for Jesus Tell your neighbor whatever Apostle Moravia has prophesied in his mind in Jesus name Tell him he was talking about my life He was talking about my life in Jesus mighty name in Jesus name Amen, amen. God bless you so much. I want to give some assignment to some people. Pastor Zach, start lunch hours. Don't see funge kwanza. Start lunch hours. Whether you have two people in the church or not, start lunch hours. Do them daily. Hallelujah. Any person who wants to go life to preach, give him or her Wi-Fi password. Let them come and preach. Open this altar for men and women. If Pastor Harris want to come and preach, let her preach. If she don't want to come here and preach, let her preach. Hallelujah. If Mam Teresa want to come here and preach, let her preach. If Kendeji want to pray keyboard as he worships, let him go live. Hallelujah. This year, Nataka Mutu Atunonoria Simu ya Kanisa. Mutu atunulie simu ya si yangu kwa sababu yangu nitakuwa nikitumia. Mtu mmoja aguzi atunulie sisi hatuna video mzuri ya kuchukua nini. Tena simu ni rahisi sana kwa sababu hitaji watu wawili, si ni kweli? Tukue na simu ya kanisa uh, moja ambayo itakuwa ikichukua live. Si ni sawa? Uh, simu mzuri like uh, I think simu ya kutoka 20,000 is a good phone, right? Uh, a good phone uh, watu wawili ama watatu wanazikana ama mtu mmoja akiguzwa tununue simu ya kwedanga life we want our services life every day Amen. you know why we have been addressing to so many people online anytime that i don't go online so many people complain hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. yes okiero tanunua kuisha unaenda nini Akwisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So uh, we want to go right for you. What what wabao muko ata nini watu angamu mutunolie zimuigine ama video. Kwa sababu nini tunahubiri yanga na i. Hallelujah. A good phone. Uh, ni mzuri. Watu wa watu wa watu wengi tufikia watu wengi sana. I want to see series. Pastor Zach, Pastor Regina, Pastor Gitimu, Pastor Moses, Pastor Harris, and others. I want to see series. I want to see services. I want to see services. Nilikuwa nabia hawa ya kwamba, tukitoka hapa tuende pare kwa kwa site yetu pare tunajenga. Hauta hitaji kwenda maweko, we'll open our studio there. Oh, your neighbor before the month of April we will have a 24 hours studio yes. our mission is one preaching Jesus Amen. hallelujah to your neighbor 24 hours online studio to your neighbor it is coming si munajua nasemanga mimi nasi nakuja just wait for it. Wana sifiwe. Then I urge you. Musiende kuhubiri matope. Di muna soma nyota za wenyewe. Are you getting me? I'm not, I'm not against nyota. Lakini siyo kila siku ni kusoma nyota. Are you getting me? Preach Christ. Preach. I will be reasoning. If I hear you preaching like... Sinagogo of Karimanzera, nita nita kufungia iyo mitambo. We will listen to your content. Tell your neighbor, we will be listening to you. If you are given this order to preach, don't come with nonsense. Hallelujah. Pastor Kitimo, come with the message that will bless the people. Wana sifiwe. These people are not stupid. They know when you have life. Pastoris, they know when you have prayed for your someone. When you have not prayed on a samanga, hey, na amekaukiwa, kini wacha tutumu, wacha tutumu, tumu sameye, amen. 
tumsaidia kuhubiri haleluya we are neighbor not every man that comes from uh, anointing some are for encouragement <laughs> you are being encouraged so i want to see you pastor zack and your team to be having an online church every day we na sorrow every day mr richard we na sorrow every day haleluya eh hey, alafu ni kuone pastor zack at ile 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 shati ulikuwa nayo jana online ndio umeenda nayo sasa kesho wewe haleluya bia ni ba sasa ukwe na maguo mingi ya online haleluya ukwe presentable usikuje ku misiri present Christ hapa haleluya ujipange vizuri ujipackage vizuri watu wa online will be life become a life every day from tomorrow and tomorrow they will be run chawa with our pastor pastor zack haleluya situmpigie makofi mazuri every day from monday to friday he will be here in lunch hours preaching to you haleluya and it is good what I, the reason why i am saying that it is good when we have our own channel watu wataenda kutafuta pastor zaki ni nani pastor moses ni nani pastor nani ni nani lakini tukiwa na channel yetu ya dominion city watu wanajua dominion city kuna kuaga na online ranch hours si ni sawa then that pin can be given kwa watu wengine hiyo ya kanisa so that sometimes moses anataza tuhubiria in the same channel akiwa kwake kwa nyumba evening service sawa sawa you never don't miss on tuesday Pastor Moses will be preaching to us. Hallelujah. You know, we will raise everybody. Hallelujah. Before the year ends, Pastor Nani Teresa atakuwa akihubiri huku akiogea na tanks. Rasha daba bwana anasema. God bless you so much. Can we say the grace together? Uh plus even those who are online, uh I want us to say the grace. Salimia mwenzako. Salimie, mwambie happy new year. Mwambie mark my clothes. Zinabadilishwa. Haleluya. Ah, salimia mtu, salimia mtu. Pasa zake tafuta mtu salimie. Tafuta mtu. Yaani pasa zake wana dili mudu. Aha, wacha pastor asikuja. Sikutaki wewe. Bara kabisa. Salimia mtu muangalie. Mwambie you, you are blessed. So blessed. Very blessed. You are blessed. So blessed. Very blessed. You can never be cast. 2023. You will not mourn. You will rejoice. Mwambie tukutanange kwa banka. Tuki save tukipeleka pesa huko mwambie tukutanange kaosh haleluya tukiosha magari zetu haleluya mwambie tukutane hardware tukinunua vitu za kujenga plot haleluya this year you be rich very very rich in Jesus name now may the grace and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness mercies and money shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in dominion city forever and ever Amen. Amen. Abia, tafuta watu wawili.